Upside Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. An overcast gray day in the Treasure Valley. Here's a live view from our Boise Skyline camera. Beautiful view here. Seeing that mostly cloudy sky. It is bright to the south, though. We're getting sun trying to come through, but it is still mostly cloudy. 67 degrees. It is mild with a southeast breeze at 15 miles per hour. So breezy and mild weather this evening. Some isolated showers over the next hour before the sun goes down. A better chance for rain a little bit later tonight. Temperatures around the region generally in the 60s in the valley. Twin Falls, you're near 70. What a beautiful day. It was above 70 for a time today. 50s up to the north. Stanley at 50 degrees right now. Not bad at all. 34 this morning. You see all that cloud cover around. We did have some isolated showers pushing on through the region. There's one pushing on through. 50 degrees this afternoon. Not so bad out there. All in all, tonight we'll see an increase of showers, especially in the mountains from the west. And then tomorrow, a storm comes in from the south, which will mostly soak mountain home towards the Magic Valley. Com conflicting computer charts really have a big effect on what our weather is going to do from Ada County westward to Ontario. If you Live in Ontario, you may not get much rain at all during the day tomorrow. Something I'm going to keep a close eye on here. There are those showers pushing up to the north. You see mostly white here. That's just the cloud cover around, and the most of the showers of the rain to our north and west Pendleton. This will go up towards uh, Grangeville and points to the northeast following that storm system. But here comes that front that I mentioned that will stall near us, but it may stall a little further to the east of the Treasure Valley, allowing the next storm system to roar up from the south and push a little bit further to the east. And that storm system is down, still pushing into Southern California. Look Look at the South Central California with some heavy rain. Now, the moisture coming in from this direction never gives us a very low snow level, but can give us a tremendous amount of moisture as it moves on in and really hit the Sun Valley area with snow on the peaks, but a lot of rain coming in. Pomerel Mountain, these locations, as it goes right up the Wood River Valley, that flow of air, you can get a lot of moisture. This system here, where will it target? I don't think it's going to hit Boise directly until maybe late, later in the afternoon. One computer chart, let me show you what's going on through with this particular chart here tonight. You see some rain showers coming in. Here's tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. A soaking rain for the Magic Valley, Glens Ferry, into near Mountain Home, but nothing in Boise. Another computer chart has some rain showers over Boise tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, and then we get a little bit of a break as we go through the day. But watch this chart towards 5 o'clock in the evening. This would be heavy rain and thunderstorms coming through much of the Treasure Valley in the evening. The other conflicting chart that's a pretty good chart shows no rain at all here in the afternoon. And if that occurs, we'll have very little rain at all during the day tomorrow, but I would plan for this possibility with this heavy rain shooting through between 5 and 8.30 tomorrow evening. Something I'll keep a close eye on for you as we go through the day tomorrow. We get a break Saturday morning for more rain comes in Saturday night and Sunday. My exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today. And again, it's a tough call here, but I think much of the valley could be dry in the morning, although eastern sections, the best chance for rain and a soaking rain could be occurring in Mountain Home tomorrow throughout the day. So areas of rain during the day, and I'll have an update on this coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. You won't want to miss it. I'll have the latest information. 60 degrees in Garden Valley. I think it'll be mostly dry after the rain tonight. Just a 20% chance of showers tomorrow in the McCall area. The further south and east you go, uh, a soaking rain is likely for Stanley and Sun Valley tomorrow with a snow level around 8,000 feet. While in the Magic Valley tomorrow, again, rain is likely a 100% chance of a soaking rain in the Magic Valley for tomorrow. My extended forecast looks like this on Saturday. Rain showers later in the day, mostly Saturday night and Sunday, and there could be some showers nearby on Halloween. It's going to be a close call. I think it will be dry, but boy, it's getting close. I'll keep you updated. Is this a si early sign of what might happen? Let's this hope winter? we get this in December because then our snowpack would do great. But we'll have to see. I hope we're not wasting all of our rain. Yeah. Well, it's not yeah. in the form of snow. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Scott. Battle